Hey lovelies, welcome back. If you are new here, hit that subscription button and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos I upload on Mondays and Fridays. Okay, let's get right into it. Uh, I'm reviewing this wig that I have on. This wig you've seen in my previous video, but I'm going to review. It's the same wig. It's the Freedom Part wig from Shake and Go. And this wig is a versatile part wig where you can switch from left to right. And it's the same wig I have on right now. Uh, a couple of you have suggested that I try, you know, step out the box because I always wear uh, a black, off black, dark brown brown wigs and in my previous video I tried on a wine colored wig and I got a very very got some very nice compliments and asking me that you know why don't you try different color wigs so I'm not gonna go as far as trying a pink or blue or green or anything like that. I'm still going to be on the conservative side. I'm going to start moving up until maybe eventually I'll end up with the blonde wig on. I don't know. I might end up with the pink one. We'll never know, right? So anyway, this particular wig is uh, dark brown on the top and burgundy on the bottom. It's a dark burgundy color. Let me open it up for you. Show ya. To get it open, y'all. All right. And this is gonna be my first time trying this color wig. Ooh, it look cute. It is cute. See, woo, see. Ooh, yeah. I think I'm gonna like this one. Look, 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 look. Look how pretty. This is a pretty color. Okay. Let's see. Now, here's the place card. Boy, I'm having all kinds of problems, y'all. So, uh, this is the place card. Okay, and it says here, hit care instructions before washing here. Brush it out. Brush out all the tangles starting from the bottom and work your way up to the weft. For curly hair, do not brush. Blah, 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 blah. Fill the sink with water. We already know how to do, take care of the wig with uh as far as washing if you don't i'll leave some information in the link it's pretty easy to just dunk this wig into some cool water that's the way i do it anyway and wash it with some cheap shampoo don't condition because this is a synthetic unit okay so i am gonna ooh, look at this girl oh yes 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 i'm gonna put this on and I'm going to be right back, y'all. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Look at this wig, y'all. What do you think about the color? This is the dark brown and the burgundy. I think it looks really good. Oh my goodness. I, you know, I was afraid of color. But I think this is a subtle kind of a color it's not too bright it's not any kind of pastel or weird looking color it's just like it's very nice you can wear this every day and that's what I always say I like wigs that are every day and not only that this wig did not come with any lace at all so you don't have to worry about cutting lace the parting is pretty good it's about four inches I did not pluck out the part. I didn't put any concealer. This is a wig you can truly pop on, y'all. And it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at the color. Yep. This is definitely not too much for me. As a matter of fact, y'all, I'm going to wear this wig today. I'm really impressed by it. Now, the other wig I tried on, the, the uh, wine colored wig, Everybody liked it, but it was a little too bright for me. This one is just like the perfect color. 
you see and it just flows like right into the next color I think this is a gorgeous wig uh, let me show you the cap construction because I didn't show you the cap construction before um, this is the same wig it doesn't have lace it comes with two combs on either side of the part there is one more comb in the back and a strap to make it tighter this is a big head friendly wig I have a very small head so but I don't use any straps or combs as a matter of fact I try to take the uh, combs out of the wig because I find that it catches on to my hair you know if you don't have that problem that's fine you can leave the combs in the wig but I prefer to not have any combs in my wigs <clears throat> and this is like just like a cap that you would put on and pull over your head like a hat on this wig and this this is the result you just throw it on this is truly a wig that you don't have to do anything you walk out the door now as far as tangling and all that uh, eventually these wigs do tangle because they're synthetic and they do uh, which yeah they do tangle because they're synthetic and what else I wanted to say was there's no shedding in this wig at all and I've already combed this through as you can see this is a great wig for every day okay so I hope I covered everything with this wig I think this wig is gorgeous my eyelashes falling off y'all and this, these are the magnetic lashes that are in my previous video if you want to watch that for these lashes I did a review on them you see them appear in the link but yes Tell me what you think below about this unit. I think it's really cute. And you know, I always put the wig behind my ear like this. Okay, this is going to be my favorite everyday wig. I always say that because when I discover that these wigs are so easy and so great to just pop on and go it's like a no-brainer 